Professor Graham Jameson is an engineer and also director for the Center of Multiphase Processes at the University of Newcastle in New South Wales, Australia. He's also the inventor of the Jameson cell flotation device. Recently, Professor Jameson has been elected to the Fellowship of the Royal Society in London. Professor Jameson, firstly, welcome to Finland and congratulations on your election. Well, thank you very much. Then, your first flotation cell innovation, the Jameson cell, hmm. what was specific and unique to it? It was, uh, what I was trying to do was to recover very fine particles uh, and in a simple way. I had discovered that to do, to do this, I needed lots and lots of small bubbles. I looked then for a very simple way of making billions of bubbles a second. Mm. And I came up with this idea. I, I tried it out first in a mine in Tasmania and it didn't work, but I could see immediately how I could change it and make it work. And it, I, it happened, so I was very pleased. Okay, then how about the recent developments in the flotation technology? Well, what are the key drivers of the change? Well, the key drivers are these. For, for a, a hundred years or more, it's been possible to recover fine particles by flotation that are in a narrow size range of around about 50 to 150 microns. A micro, uh, 150 microns is about the thickness of a human hair. And so these are very tiny particles, but we can recover those easily. When you get down to 10 microns, that's hard. And when you get up to 200 microns, that's getting harder. So there's a demand for new machines that can cover those two areas, very fine particles and very coarse particles. So that's where the Concorde and my latest machine come in. I'm trying to solve both ends of the size spectrum. Mm. Then what's special about this so-called Concorde cell? Well, that grew out of research I was doing at Imperial College in London during the course of that, I noticed that when a bubbly mixture, like a foam, went through a small hole, what came out the other end were very fine bubbles. And that was in the back of my mind for decades. And so when I looked around, but when I was looking at this ultra-fine particle flotation, I thought, that, that'd be a good start. I'll have a go at that. And it, it worked. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, I understand you've been in cooperation with Odotech. Yes. How has this cooperation been? Oh, extremely good. I've always been impressed with Autotech uh, for their strong uh, technical background. You know, their technological strength is in this field is very, very high. So when I was approached, it was not difficult to for me to decide to take a you know, to get more involved with Autotech. Then, as part of the election to the fellowship of the Royal Society, there will be a ceremony in London. And I understand there will be a dinner with possibly members from the royal family present. Do you have any royal etiquette in mind that you've learned? Oh, oh no, no, it doesn't work like that. I'll be <laughs> sitting there with lots of other people. Uh, I went to a similar thing some years ago and Prince Philip came to the mm. dinner. And so we all had to stand and he, he um, sat at the high table mm. and he made a little speech, which was very nice, but really you don't get much personal contact. Yes. Thank you for this interview, Professor Jameson. That's my pleasure. Thank you very much.